G'day guys, Jeff here. Um, this is game six. So we've only played six games uh, in total so far. We're uh, only going to use these new accounts whenever uh, the three of us are together at a minimum. Um, there are two others that uh, will rotate in and out of the squad deathmatch. It could even be some other subscribers. But yeah, this is uh, game six running the XM8. Uh, still don't have any other good perks. I do have the ammo boxes uh, that you saw in the previous games. Um, so yeah, this is one of my favourite maps actually for Conquest and Squad Deathmatch because uh, I think the use of the environment is key and uh, you can actually you know, hold down an area fairly well. You can also run outside if you understand where all of your uh, the points, the choke points are for them to get you or uh, where you might run to for some cover. Pick up a couple of kills here, which is, uh, you know, they're sitting outside in an area that's facing the uh, spawn side, which is the side that I'm on. So it wasn't, uh, not, not a good start for them. Um, if you're coming from the top side, you should seek buildings. If you're coming from the south side, um, you should actually keep watching your back as well, because uh, I find that even if you spawn there, a lot of the enemy can spawn behind you. So while you're running for uh, building cover, um, you actually die by the, their hands uh, in the back. So um, it's an in interesting spawn. The uh, other favourite spawn here is the rock spawn. So that happens quite a lot when um, people are near the buildings in the other spawns. Can't seem to get that guy there. A red dot sight would have helped immensely, or an ACOG. And I'd, here's another version of Jules from Pulp Fiction. I managed to pistol whip him. I'm not sure uh, why I couldn't kill him before, but uh, I seemed seemed like I was on target. Just changed, uh, there was a priority t of target change there, and because I was missing him at that distance, so I decided to uh, move to get another angle and uh, tell my teammates where they are. Uh, the whole time we're talking and using call outs of where the uh, enemy would be. I'm starting to use the grenades uh, a little bit more now uh, on uh, this gun because uh, I like the animation. <laughs> But, uh, no, in this map with a lot of buildings, you need to use the grenades just to open up a few holes uh, to get lines of sight and whatnot. Uh, stop people hiding behind little crevices and whatnot. Now, I was going to uh, shoot the wall down, but then he started moving, so I actually took pot shots at him. And uh, the run and gun M60 gets me. So you'll notice I die mostly by the M60. It is a favourite of many people. Um, unfortunately, or unfortunately, it's getting patched. Uh, I managed to die by uh, the same house there. But yeah, it's getting patched. Um, they're also forcing you to take a knee for accuracy, meaning to stop running. At least yeah, it's going to take away the run and gun uh, M60 and XM8 users. Um, and then it, that probably puts its gun into the proper place where, you know, in real life you'd take a knee before using it. So you, know, you should kind of have to do it here without uh, being on equal terms with the assault class and running and gunning with a huge gun. Now, using the headset here, I thought there was actually someone in here. They may have uh, jumped. I can't see a body either, so I don't know where they are. They might be on the roof. Um, this is the building that got me before. Uh, I actually had the building cleared by a teammate when I got killed just previously, um, but there must have been a spawn that happened and uh, that guy killed me instead. So just being cautious because someone is supposed to be around here but they're not shooting or doing anything so uh, I think I'm just losing my mind and I'm going to move on. So there's a couple in the construction too. So now that I know that there's a couple down in construction too and we've got uh, some other teams playing, uh, you'll see that I actually uh, also take looks at the different spawn areas in a minute. That's if I uh, remember this area correctly. Nice pistol whip. They're going to um, reduce the rate of fire on the 1911. We'll stop that from happening as much. One thing you want to do is line it up before you aim, in, aim down sights on it. So you line up your reticle or your crosshairs, then you aim down sight and you can uh, shoot fairly accurately with it. And that's another way of getting uh, two shot kills with the M24. Um, you shoot with the M24, you switch to your pistol with the same aiming, and then you shoot again. And uh, yeah, they probably should introduce bullet drop for all the guns. 
That would be interesting. Um, because, I mean, even, even the distance I'm shooting now has some noticeable bullet drop on a handgun in real life, so uh, it'd be interesting if they brought it into this game. So that if you're aiming center mass at long distance, it's actually only hitting their feet. If that. So let, let me know what you think about uh, the Noob series because uh, we're happy to uh, bring you game types. The reason that we are playing Squad Deathmatch, uh, to reiterate what I said in Episode 1, is that we only have to rely on the three of us or the team that we're in. With Conquest and Rush and uh, the fact that you don't have a lot of the uh, additional specializations, it could just turn in... You, know, you can in effectively be an ineffective squad. But... I think we'll give it a go at some point anyway. Uh, first we'll do some rush, uh, maybe some, we'll do some squad rush, then we'll do some rush. Um, so if we do squad rush we won't have, we, we will have C4 available to us uh, as an all kit weapon, but uh, that's it really. Um, won't have many guns to use, won't have uh, the ability to heal each other. Uh, so yeah, squad rush will be interesting. Then we'll move to some rush potentially and then some conquest. Um, so I'm holed up in this uh, house here, not a lot of action going on, there's no point running outside when there's not a lot of action going on because it's uh, either they're camping or we've uh, lost some people, I didn't check the scoreboard. But I think coming up now is uh, a couple of techniques that are important to pay attention to at times, and that is that when you make kills from inside buildings you can use the dynamic lighting, um, the different windows, the different levels to uh, piss off the group of people. Using a headset here, I thought I heard someone, so I throw a grenade down there. I'm listening out for them to yell out grenade. Got a little too close to it though myself and uh, got some splash damage there. Looking around uh, to the buildings that where people spawn and usually run to, but not a lot of action going on. And not a lot of action at all. So even though I do well in this game and don't die a lot, it's because I am... Uh, effectively hold up in a house, but uh, as you can see by the other videos, I like running around as well for the kills, I don't mind dying a few times. Uh, if you want to improve your KD slightly, then you really want to contain your patrol to two or three buildings at most, um, and just get used to them. Still need to burst fire the X-8. So I think this is where I uh, start taking down a few people from different areas, just to show you so many things you can do. Now I've shot quite a lot out of that window. I don't want to stand there any longer. I'm taking another look. I saw the kill assist plus 10 come up. I don't want to be there anymore because people are going to look to that window or uh, we're not checking out the spawns. On the uh, on my side obviously, not the rock spawn. Burst firing. The X-8 uh, with red dot sight would have been much better in that sense. So they know I'm here now. I just got shot at. Just got shot at again. So I'm using cover. I pop back around. Shooting the 40 mil. And I'm shooting it again. But uh, popping in and out of cover is important. I'm still getting shot at by someone else even though I've made a kill. So I'm just looking for them using different windows. Um, strafing behind cover and back again. Getting shot at still. Now from uh, the construction area, I'm getting shot at by a recon guy by the looks of it. So a bit hurt, I'm inside for the dynamic lighting, but uh, changing level now that I've healed just a little bit. And I'll try to get another another sight on them. Managed to get one. Ducking undercover, still hurt. I'm trying to wait for that zip sound, but uh, I probably should have, and then the uh, sniper gets me with the GOL. So probably, in that sense, I probably would have stayed behind cover and then um, waited until I heard the zip to the zip sound that tells me that I'm healthy again. And there's a grenade up here, so I'm just running away from that. Splash damage kills, and uh, I watched the trajectory of the grenade to know it, where he threw it from. So even though I'm uh, really hurt, I still managed to get a kill out of it. I should just stay here instead of moving, but I really want to get the cover. Managed to uh, get a kill there though. Now I know people are spawning and staying up here, uh, the recon guy, it looked like there was two or three people up there at one point taking shots at me. 
So I'm just uh, waiting till I heal a little bit until I hear the zip sound. So I'm waiting for the zip sound and uh, hopefully the grenade will butter them up a little bit. I'll get a hit marker to, which tells me if they're up there still. I'm right on the edge of the map here. That stops me from being uh, hit from the side. And there you go, a medic and a sniper hanging out together. So this match is almost over. Can't hit the broadside of a barn door there. And I get stuck on the windmill or whatever it was and die, but still, end of the match, uh, we win again, 17-4. So, uh, that's the end of the series so far, I think I will bring more. My win-loss is 6-0, my K overall KD is 1.88, you can check out uh, Battlefield Bad Company 2 Statverse to confirm those stats if you like, and anyway, until next time guys, see ya.